Welcome back to another Terraria video everybody but before we hop into it I just want to thank everyone for allowing me to hit 50,000 subscribers and then some really there's no words that I could say that expresses how I feel and how thankful I am for you guys you're making my dreams become a reality and there's, there's not much I can say other than thank you and I love you guys but let's hop into today's mod so if the title and the thumbnail didn't give it away we're checking out Consularia which has finally updated and added in two bosses from vanilla Terraria on other platforms to PC and I'm super super excited to finally have these two in PC Terraria. The two bosses I am talking about are obviously the Easter boss known as Lepus and the Thanksgiving boss known as Turkor. So shout out to Constellaria and Haster the creator of the mod for finally adding these guys in because I've been waiting for a long time. I've always thought about going on like console or something or a uh, mobile or 3DS to fight them but bless up we have them here on PC and let's check everything out from them. So let's go into how to get the spawners for the bosses. First of all, you're going to need to have the merchant NPC and you're going to have to buy this turkey feather right here because without the turkey feather, you cannot summon in Turkor. To get the stuffing, you need to kill harpies. Harpies are the thing that drop the stuffing. So just kill a bunch of them. Boom. You'll get a bunch of stuffing. To fight Lepus, you actually need to get your hand on uh, corrupt bunnies slash crimson bunnies. What are the crimson variants called? Crimtain bunnies. And you just need to kill them boom they should drop it kind of harder to get your hands on them why did they drop goldfish legs all right so let us check out both of the bosses now i'm not gonna do like an actual fight i'll leave that up to you guys to do an actual fight because they are pretty fun to fight but let's just see the stages of the boss we got turkor here if you fought him before i'm pretty sure his ai is the same i actually don't know i never really wanted to uh watch you know how you fought them because i didn't want to spoil them if they ever did come to pc but yeah here's turkor starts with one head you kill his head i probably should have chose a stronger weapon to do this you kill his head and then you know you just attack his body but that's not it as you can see it's kind of hard to even hit his body you're gonna need some good range or something but you kill one head two more heads spawn he's kind of like a hydra you kill these two heads guess what happens next three more heads spawns but it just stops after that it's just three heads and this boss kind of tough he's got a lot of health you know i think he's right before the wall of flesh in terms of progression so this boss is not easy but let's go ahead let's kill him boom dead we get his treasure bag beautiful now you can fight him any time of the day but lepus you have to fight during the daytime now in my opinion lepus is way easier the only tough thing about lepus that i've noticed is that lepus will spawn in giant eggs and if you don't destroy those giant eggs in time the giant eggs turn into more lepuses lepi leposes yeah let's see how many of the uh, giant eggs we can get to spawn in i don't think there's a cap i'm not sure though i'm not sure but yeah you do have to kill all of them for you to finish the boss fight now not just the original you had to kill all of them i think i don't know it's probably because i lose track of which one's the original so i can't really tell if i killed the original or not but i'm gonna sit here for a while and see how many of them spawn all right so i've been waiting a while and not a single one has laid in a giant egg so i'm assuming it just caps out four i've heard different things i've heard there is no cap on mobile and i've heard that it caps at four from other people on mobile but yeah let's go ahead let's kill lepus lepus is actually pretty easy in my opinion if you can just manage to kill the eggs but boom that was a great hammer throw. All right, so now that Lepus is dead, let us check out the items that both of the bosses drop. We'll start with Lepus first. So you can get the bunny hood from Lepus. This one was a rare one. I was opening up a bunch of treasure bags and I had troubles getting this one, but you can get it. You can obviously get Lepus's mask, obviously Lepus's uh, trophy right here, boss trophy. And then we got Ostara's gift. I hope I'm saying that right. It's either Ostara or Ostara. Enemies have a chance of leaving chocolate eggs on death. Broken eggs drop some life hearts and mana stars. Let's see if we can actually uh, uh, proc this or trigger it so let's go ahead let's summon in some enemies here and uh see if their eggs drop oh there you go there was an egg right there and it dropped a bunch of hearts and more mana stars beautiful moving on we got one of the og weapons the egg cannon to kill a goblin you have to break a few eggs i've heard that saying all the time boom do these explode no nah, they just they just just straight up hits so let's just test it out not a bad early weapon like i said lepus is fairly easy to take on just has a lot of health but then we move on to the ostara set slash ostar set five percent increased movement speed on the hat five percent increased movement speed on the jacket and five percent increased movement speed and allows her to perform a bunny hop on the boots now this is really cool the bunny hop is really cool let's put this on see what it looks like too cool cool probably should take those off but yeah the bunny hop is pretty much oh that was a bad example it's pretty much like the uh triple hop from mario in a way because you can see one two three do we go higher on four i don't know one two th three 
four. Okay, yeah, it is a four jump hop then. So it's really, really cool. The set bonus also negates fall damage, which is always a good thing in early game, especially when you don't have a double jump or a grappling hook or any sort of flight mechanism. But yeah, that was all Alipus's drop. Let's go ahead and put these back in here. Let's check out Turkor's drop. Now, I have no idea where Turkor drops normally. I'm probably going to look at the wiki page really quick, but we can start with just the regular item he drops, and that is feathers. Boom, get that out of here. We got the mask. We got the spicy sauce. Affected enemies take additional damage from fire. Interesting. The, how did I spawn in a raven? Did I click on a raven? Wait, how did I spawn in a raven? I was clicking on demon eye. So I want to see something here. Let's spawn in enemies and then let's throw a molotov at the enemies hit with fire. Because if the spicy sauce, you know, doesn't shoot out fire, you have to kind of combo it is what it seems like. How good are molotovs? I don't feel like molotovs are that good, honestly. This seems like it's taking a lot, a lot of work to kill these guys. Oh, wait. Affected enemies take additional damage from fire. So if I hit an enemy with it and then throw fire at them and then hit them with this, does it do more damage? No. I don't know. Next up, we got the great drumstick. It's just a melee weapon. That's really it. They all make very weird noises. Kind of makes me uncomfortable the noises most of these weapons make. But moving on, we have the feather storm. I'm assuming feathers dropping from the sky. Okay, nope. You know it. Close enough. Pretty good. This seems like a great major weapon early game. Moving on to the one I'm hyped the most for, and that is turkey staff. Summons a weird turkey to fight for you with a question mark. Weird turkey what in the <laughs> i love it already i love it already this is so beautiful his head is upside down most of the time this is all good he's a weird turkey he's uh, allowed to have his head upside down but this 100 is my favorite weapon so far next we got the horn o plenty which i believe is one of the og items it restores 120 life it is filled with inexhaustible gifts of celebratory fruits that was a hard sentence to say that really hurt my brain let's go ahead i don't I take damage or something i, I don't know what it was okay here just spawn an enemy on me i'm assuming this works just like a potion right so if i hit q i'll use it yes but it's a one-time use thing? What? What? Is it always a one-time use thing? That kind of sucks. I thought it was going to be like an infinite consumable item that you got for taking on a hard boss, which it should be an infinite consumable item because Turkor is not an easy boss. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy that Consolaria added in Turkor and Lepus. And, you know, it's going to be awesome having these bosses as a part of my future mod pack, Akram 2. Akram is also in this mod. If you guys didn't know, I did a mod review on Akram. But uh, there's one more thing in this mod that I think most people would be very happy to see, okay? This one is for everybody that talks about this. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. All right, what's up everyone? Again, I wanna thank you guys for allowing me to hit 50K. Couldn't have done it without you guys. I wouldn't be anything without you guys if we're being honest. And also for all the people that are like, where's the face reveal? Where's the face reveal? It is coming this upcoming week. I just have a couple things I need to do before we do the face reveal video. So don't ask that question anymore, please. And also I got a little extra extra something right here. You know, we stream me hitting 50K and we got a bunch of uh, Twitch Prime subs slash uh, Twitch subs in general. So what that means is I got two more emote slots on Twitch. And if you don't follow my Twitch, go to twitch.tv slash gamers on one. And if you have Twitch Prime, make sure to hit the sub button. It helps me out a lot. But yeah, we're going to be voting for what emote we want next. The next two emotes that we want on my Twitch. So there's going to be a bunch of emotes on the screen. I want you guys to leave a number in the comments telling me which one you want. And the top two will be the new emotes on my Twitch. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to hope that we hit the 10 minute mark. And for people saying like, gamers, you're a scumbag. Why you got to make it hit the 10 minute mark? I'm just trying to get the full revenue that I possibly can off of this. So I can make this a living and keep producing content for you guys. All right. So please don't complain about it. I did everything in the video already. I edited the whole video. It took me like a good couple of hours please don't get mad just because i'm stretching the video you don't even have to watch this part of the video you could just fucking leave if you're complaining about it oh that's my favorite hole <laughs> what beautiful wait isn't that the guy that's supposed to be hunting me? i can't fight this enemy by the way um 
Okay, next one. Said, so Game Ridge just said Game Ridge. <laughs> or no, you said the news just said Game Ridge. The Tremor developers were actually okay people. Or the Tremor devs were actually okay people. Damn, tough answer, bro. <laughs> 